What's up, Jake? Neil? I said I would make a video this Sunday. Jake, you already did, but I'm making another one. Ah, my McDonald's. Anyway, um, I think Neil's movie is down by law because there has been, in my little text box of things that I'm going to talk about in my next movie, I've had that written there for a long time, like a week or two, and so I think that's what that is. Double check that, though, Neil. Um, my movie, I'm, I'm pondering the idea of changing it. If you guys haven't bought it yet, I think I might. Um, I will force you someday to watch the rundown slash... Welcome to the jungle. So if you've already ordered it, that's all right. Um, and if so, we'll do that this time. But a much better movie, and really a movie that you might have to watch a couple times before you get everything, Primer. Um, it's, a, it's kind of an indie sci-fi time travel film that is just mind-blowing. So if you have got not purchased uh, the rundown slash Welcome to the Jungle, Primer, that is the movie that I think will, will make you happier, Jake, at least. Although, really, you're just, you're just slowing down the inevitable. Um, other stuff I want to talk about, the circus. I have been doing a circus before um, when I was younger and did not know the terrible things that occurred to the animals and to the, to the performers, uh, just in terms of treatment. But now I do, and so I'm not as happy about the circus. But back then I was like, oh, circus, yay, man, look at the guy. That's what I was like. Anyway, Beast Wars. I remember watching Beast Wars as a child. Not very often. I have not watched it since. Reboot was the, was the show that I watched uh, as a child. And I thought that show was awesome and terrible and awesome. Uh, and Arrested Development, thumbs up, Jake. I've seen the first season and a half, I think, of that show, and I just, I have wanted to see it all the way through, I just haven't gotten to it, and people who annoy me were watching the show and continuously quoting it, so I figured I would hold off and let my hatred of them kind of cool down before I, I watched the show. Uh, in terms of things that people think are... I'm going to go with retro. Uh, Neil, you said uh, just kind of uh, reminiscent or like old school or whatever. I don't think it's ever going away, buddy. I think people are always going to be like, oh man, remember Thundercats? I mean, for, I mean, do you have any idea how popular VH1's like, remember the 90s, remember the 80s, remember the whatevers uh, are, I mean, for God's sake, like that, that series alone brought VH1 completely back to life. Like, they could just constantly be airing that shit. And people, they would they would have a station that people would watch forever. Um, and they often do just have marathons of remember the whatevers. And they have, like, part two. Um, uh, I'm sorry that I made that face. But they, they, ha they, they, like, go into the 80s again and cover all the crap they missed the first time around. And it's like... Oh, God. But people will eventually die. <laughs> and, and no one will remember the things that happened back then, except for, like, whatever gets jotted down in history books. Which is an interesting thing. Um, with blogs nowadays, it's going to be interesting. Uh, sort of a more written history of the 90s to early uh, to 20... To, I don't know what the hell you call the 200s or the 2000s. The zeros, whatever that era is, um, in like thirty years, uh, just because it's hard to date things on the internet. Like you know, you can you can kind of get a some professional PhD looking guy to be like, oh, this book was written in you know nineteen forty six. Well, how did you know that? Well, there's a copyright on it. Oh, but uh, I mean, aside from that, you know, I could post a web page and be like, you know, copyright eighteen thirty seven. And they're going to be like, wait a second. So it would be interesting to kind of see if there was a way for people to kind of go back and be like, oh, this is what things were like back in 1999 or more realistically 2003 uh, or 2004. Because uh, that's when more people were blogging. Um, echolocation. I'm totally learning echolocation. I will, there was a thing, thing on Slashdot. I will link it over here as soon as my internet starts working again. My internet's been down. Um, you can teach yourself echolocation. It's really cool. I haven't 
yet tried it myself, but there are studies that show that using, like, this noise and uh, shh, using those two noises, you could be blindfolded and know if something is in front of you. And given a couple weeks training, you can, like, start. It's crazy. I'm, I'm, I totally want to do it, but I don't know if I'm going to have time. And I don't know if, if, if I'm in my office, like, you know, doing this shit, going, you know, if... If people are gonna think I'm completely psychotic, <laughs> which they might. Um, Tesla cars. I have never been a car person, uh, ever. I, you know, people are like, "Oh my gosh, have you seen like the whatever fucking muscle car that goes a bajillion miles an hour?" I was always like, "I, uh, I know about electric cars. I did a project on them. And actually, I've always been more interested in electric cars because to me, electric cars are, it's, it's." Not sort of the grease monkey mechanic kind of, yeah, let's throw some, let's go how many, let's see how many gallons we can get per mile sort of thing, you know, just fucking go. It's much more elegant. It's more refined. It's more, it's it's kind of a more intellectual car. Um, it's kind of pompous and uh, a little bit, uh, there's another word that's negative that I'm thinking of. But it's not coming to me. Um, damn. Anyway. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's those things. And, uh, like, really cool electric cars have always kind of been like, ooh, those, those are interesting to me. And now they've made a Tesla car. Tesla Motors is, is, uh, they've released, I think it's the S model or something. It's, or the, the it's a concept they're, they're coming out with or something. I don't know. It's a really sweet car. And it's purely electric, not even, not hybrid, purely electric. And it is, like, zero to 60 in five seconds, 45 minute you know, full charge, 300 miles to the charge, it's like, I want to get one someday. Uh, so yeah, that is my little, the thing that I, if I had a poster of a car over there, it would be a Tesla car of some sort, or some other electric car, whatever, whatever is a pimp electric car, but the Tesla, anything but Tesla Motors seems to be gold right now. Um, the Donnie Darko sequel, oh man, I have both the director's cut and the normal version of Donnie Darko on DVD. I own both, and I've seen it many, many, many times. Um, I like the norm. I, I think the way you should watch it is watch the normal version, watch the director's cut, and watch the normal version. Because the director's cut spells everything out for you, so you kind of get the normal version more. But the director's cut spells everything out too much, and so it becomes a worse film. And so the normal version just kind of hints at what's going on. It's kind of like, eh, you can kind of see what... And then the director's cut is like, so this is what's happening. We're going to write it out on the screen for you because you're an idiot. Um, sort of thing. So it doesn't leave anything to the imagination. <sighs> Um, and, uh, Dead Like Me, I have not seen. Would you guys like to teach yourself echolocation? I'm gonna have to search for that. That's my question for you. Oh, and the thing that I'm really into, I was into Avatar, but I finished that a long time. I finished that, like, in the spring. I'm not really, I, I guess I've been super duper into Mario 64 for the DS, and Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicle, or no, not Crystal Chronicle, Final Fantasy VI advanced. I've been playing those two games a lot in the past couple of days. Um, and they're fun. Although that Mario 64, they did change a lot of things in a weird way. It's kind of warping my childhood. Nintendo, if you make Ocarina of Time for the DS, you can even have shitty touchscreen capabilities. Just, just remake the game exactly as it was for the DS. You will make a killing. Do that. And include, like, some really silly Wi-Fi multiplayer where you just slash each other and, like, hookshot around. People will love you forever. I mean, you can just use the same lock-on shoot system you used in, like, Metroid 2 Echoes. I mean, that worked all right for multiplayer. Plus, so you get to throw bombs at people. Oh, my gosh. How fun would that? It would be, like, four swords only with Ocarina of Time graphics. Everyone would buy it. Idea. Bam. You can have that for free, Nintendo. All right. I'm out, guys. This has gone 9 minutes and 30 seconds. That's kind of long. See ya.